the Highlander. He doesn't give a shit. I don't know if this is the first video you've seen in the new house, but welcome. I'm gonna give you a house tour when I can. So I actually took the fourth room, which is this super small room, but it's still really cute because I have this awesome window that leads to the outdoors of California. So yeah, it's nothing special, but hey, all you need is a square room, an Xbox, a camera, some lights, Lunar Baby, Pew's Winner, Gooch Winner, Bar Winner, Pew. I got this MMG Neon sign. It's kind of fire. So I gotta get more stuff in for the studio so that it's like really full. Looks really good, but other than that i'm really excited but that's not what we're here for today just wanted to say all that because i am really happy really excited with how things are going but bo jackson came out honestly surprised that they dropped him this early but i can't complain i say this a lot but last year when the bo jackson came out the the mutt team 10 bo jackson it was the most absurd card i never have had so much fun playing with a card so i'm gonna max this bo jackson out right now already just using training this card is nasty 88 overall 90 speed 88 agility 89 acceleration i still need his regular legend card to upgrade him from here now i'm just gonna buy the regular legend and put it in this upgrade here's the thing is he gonna be better than barry sanders he's a lower overall but i will say they definitely nerfed jukebox and evasive this year to where it's steerable now instead of just being way better but they did not do that for bulldozer and armbar bulldozer is still more powerful truck animations and armbar is still more powerful stiff arms i don't know why they kept these the same but not evasive and jukebox but all i can say is i have a feeling that this year i'm gonna like power backs better than shifty backs because if i can just click truck and he'll still run people over then it's the same bo jackson from last year that's all i need so to start out we're gonna go bruiser reach for it definitely gonna be a good thing on this bo jackson and the final one i think energizer would be good replenish stamina after successful skill moves assuming they're counting a truck move as a successful skill move? I'm gonna get a lot of stamina back. Grab and smash. <laughs> Just based on the name, I wanna use grab and smash, but I don't think that's optimal here. Now, I think realistically, I need to go with wrecking ball. All right, let's see both stats before we start this up. So compared to Barry, he's actually faster. He's got 92 speed, Barry's got 91. Less excel and agility, same carry. A little bit worse change of direction. 90 compared to 69 truck and 90 brake tackle to 92. Yeah, this card is gonna be nuts. All right, without further ado, I'm hopping into a game. Let's see what Bo can do. Additionally, I wanna give a huge thank you to edgesports.com for sponsoring today's video. Their website's gonna provide you with in-depth, trusted sports analytics. So whether you're betting on the game or you just need your fantasy football team to do well edge sports has got you covered what edge sports does is they simulate 400,000 games to give you these statistics based on all nfl play-by-play -play data and it's pretty awesome so for example browns ravens so this has got the ravens at a 71 percent chance of winning i think that's very accurate and then this is where the betting comes into play it gives you some really good analysis on how the betting's gonna look so baltimore to win by five is virtually down the middle so i'm definitely gonna place a bet on the Ravens to beat the spread. Additionally, they got over under. I was too short to bet the under. I want to see more scoring. So I'm probably going to end up betting over 48. Plus, I have Odell on my fantasy team. So if Odell goes off, gets a bunch of touchdowns, but the Ravens still win, it'll be a really good day for me. Additionally, there's a power index. This is awesome to look at. So they have offensive pass rank and offensive rush rank. And additionally, they got the exact same thing for defense. So this is always fun to see. Now for subscriptions, they have two really good options. For $19.99 a month, you'll get all sports or for $9.99 a month, you can get just football. Additionally, I can get you that even cheaper at checkout. If you use the code MMG50, you are going to get 50% off, which is an awesome deal. So make sure to take advantage of that with the link in the description. Trust me, when you've got an NFL game up, you're looking at your fantasy team and you have Edge Sports up, it's a blast. So make sure to check it out. Edge, thanks for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. There's our top three, Bo Lamar. Oh, I got two Jacksons on the top three. I love to see that. He's got a Jackson too. And I've got a Johnson. Oh. I made that joke last year, so I didn't really want to make it again. Fuck! There's a worker at my house right now working on some stuff. And for the next 45 minutes, he's going to be very confused as to what is happening in this room. All right, let's see what our opponent's got. It looks like he has no X factor on his Lamar, which is definitely interesting to see. He's going to throw back across to George Kittle. Uh-oh, he's pretty open. This is my first time playing Madden in the new house. So I haven't played Madden as of right now in 11 days. I know that doesn't sound like a long time, but it's been patched since. So kind of forgetting what's good and what's bad. Okay, so good stop. I want to stuff this. This has got to be a run. Inside zone. He's got it. No, he didn't. He's going under. Jamal Adams. Let's go. Damn it. He got a 
on Jerry Judy to stop me. Wow! Guess that drag route so easy. First and ten. Bo Jackson halfback dive. He's sitting on it. Ah! Shit. I kind of glitched out, but I still got five yards. I'll take it. The colors look off to me for some reason. They look like too bright. I don't know. Damn, Bo is fast as hell! <gasps> Let him off! It's going to be just like last year. This bow is going to be so ridiculous. All right, I'm putting bow on this wheel route here. So let's see if bow gets open underneath. He's kind of there. Got the trip. Dip, dip, dip. Air truck. Well, Bo's got 10 yards in the passing game. So my goal, 300 all-purpose yards with Bo. So right now we're probably looking at like, I don't know, 50, 50 yards so far. Although we did start this drive pretty high up. Oh no, I that was a totally that was a horrible guess. We're at 32. We're at 32. 32. All right, Bo. What can you do here, my friend? I want to see you light somebody up. Come on, hit that hole. Oh, he missed! And I air trucked three fucking times and I still broke the tackle. Dude, I'm so bad at this game, but it doesn't even matter. Bo just keeps moving forward. I literally can just run halfback dive this whole game. This is so sad. All right, there's the inside. Don't cut it back. Didn't you guys think they were going to nerf the run? I thought for 100% sure they were going to nerf the run after how insane it was last year. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. California does not have the internet I'm looking for. But I need a focus kicker, and I need a focus kicker. Stat kicker. Dial in. Damn it. Third and 11, do I send the heater? No, I got a clamp. I got a clamp here. Ah, no, I did not clamp. Good hit. Wait, bad hit. Oh. First and 10. Oh, read option just dusted the shit out of me. Uh, let's see if he does that again. Oh, no. We got an actual pass. Um, did I possibly take my safety out of the middle of the field because I was biting on the read option? Good play. Good play, Huncho Kano. Respect, man. The other thing I haven't tried yet, though, is the stiff arm animation. So we might have to get to that. I am kind of running out of clock here, and I definitely have to get in at least field goal range. We're just going to go with the dive. Okay. Okay. Lots of room here. Air truck. Air truck is the best juke. Don't at me. All right. We're going to try and get Bo in the passing game. That doesn't mean he's going to be open. Uh, is that open? I don't know if that's open. He caught it, but he's out of bounds because I aggroed. I'm gonna hit Bo. Yes, sir. No, Bo. You... I'm not in field goal range now. How? Bo Jackson. It's not like he's supposed to have wide receiver hands or anything, but that pass was there and he should have caught it. Okay, so he's gonna probably jump that route this time. All right, we're just gonna loft this one to Julio. That was way too obvious of a pass. Damn! All right, I got 20 yards to go, and I do have two timeouts, so I can go with some dives to Bo Jackson here. Yeah, he's not fatigued yet. I think that when I successfully truck someone, it's giving me fatigue back. This might not be a Bo Jackson touchdown, which is going to make me sad, but I think I'll have to scramble with Lamar. I should definitely just take this field goal. There's no way in hell I'm doing that, though. All right, Lamar. All right, Lamar. All right, Lamar! All right, I need to go for two. I have to get this. Let's go inside zone. Bo Jackson. Let's wrecking ball our way. Come here! Let's go! Rock this user! All right, 14 to 7. I get the ball here, too. This is really big. We can pretty much ice the game here if I can score. So normally in a situation like this, I would be hesitant to let Bo Jackson take this ball out of the end zone because it's just going to fatigue him really, really hard. But getting any successful truck with Energizer is going to replenish my fatigue, so it doesn't matter. That's really cool. Is it worth an ability point, though? Maybe not because you can only use 10 ability points at once. So I don't know if it's worth it, but right now with what I'm running, just a QB and just a halfback, it's pretty awesome. All right, third and six. He's starting to clamp down on the run. I'll see if Bo can hit this inside zone. Oh, cut it back left. Ah, oh, damn. It took too long. Ah, oh, there's no human joystick. Why did I think that was going to work? I'm such an idiot. All right, I'm going to send Bo on a wheel under. Let's see if it's there. Uh-oh, that's covered. Yeah, bad pass. I'm in trouble now. It's 14 to seven. He's got the ball. He could tie this up quite easily. All right, let's see what he wants here. Underneath are covered! Got him! Tredavious White! Hey, the most underrated cornerback in the league, Tredavious White, right there. All right, we're gonna go back to the base halfback dives. They are super good. Beautiful! That's five. 
All right, we're gonna eclipse 100 yards right now with Bo, come here! Got him! No, he got grabbed. He ran that dude over and he got grabbed. Oh, well, I am running a stretch on third and 12. He chucked him, but it wasn't enough. I'm gonna be looking at fourth and two here. Shit, we're going for it on this inside zone. Let's see it, Bo. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. And I didn't even need to air truck. Bo actually literally carrying the entire team on his back right now. We're gonna go with a nasty counter. <laughs> Bo is going ham, and we're about to activate Wrecking Ball as the game is ending. Kind of sad. I need a 10 plus yard rush for it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's Wrecking Ball right there. 24 rushes, 150 yards. So I'm not going to reach my 300, but still having a good game. All right, Wrecking Ball. My next stiff arms and trucks are virtually guaranteed to work. I don't want to say guaranteed, but that Isaiah Simmons is causing me some problems. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and they put Derrick Henry in. Tears. Real tears. Mm, I'm gonna throw Derrick Henry. Let him have a little fun. Damn, damn! Okay, Derrick Henry. All right, two minute warning, first to goal. We have a wrecking ball activated Bo Jackson on the goal line. I have a pretty good feeling this will end up being a touchdown. At least eventually. Oh God, let's go! <laughs> He's on the one! All right, so as long as I don't get tagged for a loss, wrecking ball continues to go off. And that's a touchdown. So I think he still has it when I give the ball back. I, dude, I, I hate to say this, but as of right now, I really seriously like this Bo Jackson better than Barry Sanders because it is actually quite difficult to control the juke moves this year with evasive and jukebox. Like, they're not that good. Last year, dude, jukebox, all it did was it made your juke moves super fast, which I thought was awesome. You just click juke, juke people really fucking hard unless they're a good user or, oh. But this year, it's like, all the juke moves are super bizarre. But with a truck and a stiff arm you can't really go wrong so pretty big fan of this bow right now watch he's gonna try it he's gonna do like a weird juke move here let's see if it works oh shit don't gotta do a weird juke move if you just fucking sauce on me overall insane game though my opponent was actually really good let's look at this stat line for bo jackson so his lamar outplayed mine by just about a million but it didn't matter because of this right here 32 attempts 176 yards averaged five and a half two touchdowns five broken tackles 47 yards after contact good shit bo that is gonna conclude the bo jackson video god damn he's a freak hey i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see gameplay with anybody else let me know i was thinking about doing uh junior say Hey, just let me know. I'm settled in California. I got my stuff ready to go, so I'm ready to make content. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.